my name is Nancy Mace, and many of you know me as the first woman to graduate from the Citadel. Today, however, life is very different. I'm a wife, I'm a proud mother, and I'm a successful small business owner. I'm also the daughter of a retired Army General, who happens to be the Citadel's most decorated living graduate. I'm also the daughter of a retired school teacher. Growing up, my family was very tough, but loving. My father is a man of few words, and one of my first memories as a child was when I was five. My father took me on a hunting trip. Are there any hunters here tonight? Anybody? Well, I was five, and we went on a quail hunting trip. And my job that day was to go out and retrieve the quail as they dropped to the ground and claim them and bring them back to my father because he had forgotten to bring the dogs that day. <laughs> so I'm sure he thought he was raising a golden retriever, but instead we learned a few years later he was training a Citadel Bulldog. My father, who's a man of few words, dropped me off at the gates of the Citadel in 1996. And his final words to me were this, Nancy, don't call home if you want to quit. Just put on your shoes and start walking. I share these personal anecdotes with y'all tonight because it's important for me for that y'all so that y'all understand where I come from, who I am, and that my family raised me to work hard and be self-reliant. I learned two lessons while I was at the Citadel, and that is important for this race today. Because the people of South Carolina do not want to elect someone who's going to change who they are when they get to Washington. But when I was at the Citadel, I learned that you could change your values and your beliefs and change who you were in order to conform to some sort of good old boy system that you would never be accepted into. Or you could, like I did, and I didn't win many friends back then, stay true to who you were and your value system and your beliefs and still be successful. And I learned that while I was there, and that's very important to me. Both my mother and my father are heroes of mine, but I am a product of the 80s, and I have another hero, and that was our 40th president, Ronald Reagan. He was proud, he was resolute, and he was an eternal optimist. He was a steadfast friend of our allies, and he, uh, our, our enemies respected his words. But he left us with a warning. He said that freedom is never more than a generation away from extinction, that you must fight for it, that you must protect it, and that you must defend it no matter what the cost. And when I look at my campaign today, I ask myself this question. Can you trust this government with your freedom? Can you trust this government with your tax dollars? Can you trust this government with your health care? What about your personal phone and email records? Because if you trust this government, I'm not your guy or gal. Um, I don't. And when I see what's happening in Washington today, I see that this seat has been held for 59 years by two people. That is a very long time. And Senator Graham has been up in D.C. for longer than I could ever vote. And I believe that the, that the people of South Carolina need to have a voice, even if it means I stand there alone by myself to, in, in order to do it. I believe that um, the only way we are going to change Washington, and we must, is if you change who you send to Washington. And when I look and see career politicians like Senator Graham in DC, when I see conservative Republicans standing up for the Constitution, standing up to defund Obamacare, standing against amnesty, standing for border security, standing against reckless spending, Senator Graham is almost always on the other side. So we have an opportunity in June of 2014 to change Washington. And I ask for your support tonight. I will, I will hang around tonight and answer questions. Um, if y'all can stick around. The website is nancymace.org. And I'm asking for your support tonight. Thank you. God bless J.C. Strobel. God bless South Carolina. Thank you so much.